Good evening, everybody. And thank you for joining us at Eureka Springs channel. We're coming to you live from Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And you are joining us for a little bit of a show to feature some of the wonderful people that make their home here in Eureka Springs. Some folks who have invested their time and effort and energy into making their businesses work here in Eureka Springs. And we're here to focus on good people, good places and good news. And you're here to experience that with us. So thank you for joining us. Tonight, I wanted to introduce to you guys uh, Miss Inger Schwensen with Alpine Liquor. So I don't know if you guys uh, know Alpine Liquor, but it's a wonderful business. has been here in Eureka Springs for many years. And I wanted to make sure that you guys got a chance to visit with them. So I'm going to bring Inger on. Let me see if I can get her here. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you? Well, we're so glad that you agreed. This is uh, not easy uh, for a lot of people. People get nervous about being on screen, but yeah, you know, we're just us. That's right. And you're our neighbor and friend, and we're just so glad to be able to reach out and actually see you tonight. Yes, it's uh, a friendly face. <laughs> it's been hard. Hadn't it with it COVID? Happened. Yeah, I think we're all we're all good and done with it. But <laughs> you're over it a little longer. Uh, well, I, 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 people that are not familiar with Alpine Liquor, now you guys have been in Eureka Springs for how many years? How many how many years have y'all owned it? Uh, we moved here in '82, and my family bought Alpine Center in 1990, and so we've been here since then 1990 yeah i didn't realize it was that that's oh that's a long time yeah so your your father and mother is that is that who owned yes my parents okay. fred and inger svensson yep they own it they bought it in 1990 it was a convenience store exxon gas station and a tiny little liquor store at the time wow mm -hmm. Well, y'all really expanded then. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. My father did everything. Yeah. So what is your favorite part of servicing Eureka Springs and a lot of the tourists, actually? You know, I just, I like, I love my community and it's my way of socializing with people. I see a lot of people, a lot of locals in here, and I get to meet a lot of people that come here from out of town that really love Eureka and they want to know everything they can about it. And they ask you every question possible, <laughs> what to see, where to go eat, you know, what to do, where to hike. And um, so it's just fun to meet people that are excited to be here because this is a really wonderful town. Yeah. And I'm thinking that you're probably one of the stops on the way to the lake. Or maybe you're helping get a romantic week st weekend started, maybe a glass of champagne for the hotel room. There's a lot of that. Yep. And that's a lot of fun. So you get to hear a lot of people's, really their love affair and the stories coming through there. You get the first hand account. I do. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And people coming back every year for their anniversary, you know, um, uh, and celebrating staying at different places and coming in and getting their champagne or their bottle of wine. And yeah. Well, you guys have quite the variety of products for everybody. And uh, one in particular celebration that's coming up, St. Pat's. Yes. So what have you got exciting to tell us about what's going to be in the store that maybe some of us could come in and try? Well, Give me some we suggestions. Always, we always have our Irish whiskeys and our Irish creams, so we're trying to be prepared for that. But uh, this time of year, uh, Jameson in particular comes out with some exciting new um, additions like their IPA and their castmate stout. So people are looking for that. So we try to have that on hand and plenty of Irish creams as well. So take us a little bit, if you don't mind, 
I don't know if you are comfortable with doing this, but I was thinking maybe you could take your phone mm -hmm. and uh, show us. I know there's a cold section of the store. Let's yes. take a peek. What can people come in and get fresh and cold? Well, we have our walk-in wine cooler um, that we're real proud of. So people can come in here and get uh, chilled white wines, rosés, champagnes, sparkling wines, cavas, proseccos, and they're chilled and ready to go. And they can just walk right in and have a look around. And that's on you. That's an unusual. I don't think any none of the other stores have that, do they? I'm not sure. I don't I'm think they do. Honestly, not sure. Yeah. So that's and cool. And we have, um, you know, a pretty big beer selection. We've got uh, Arkansas beer. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Craft beers. Awesome. So I, I may have, we may have walked too far away from the internet. You may want to head back toward your modem. I don't know your Wi-Fi signal. Um, let's give her a second to come back on. Um, that's great. So the a wonderful store, a great selection of products. And with St. Pat's coming back, coming online here, we, we need to come in and get some Jameson, I guess. I have to try some of their specials. Um, so um, let's see if we can get Ingrid back in. She dropped out, but she'll come back in a moment. A uh, couple of comments. Thank you. Uh, Anne Marie Svensson Slane. She says, uh, yay, beautiful Ingrid with all the goodies only hey. at Alpine Liquor. Yes. Oh, someone else made a comment. And great kitties? Oh, yeah. What's that about? We have... Um Amadeus and Gwendolyn, um, the two store cats. Gwendolyn is our longest uh, resident. She's the queen. And then we have Amadeus here. Let me see if I can <laughs> find him. He's taken over Anthony's uh, oh my gosh. And jacket. So they rule. Uh, yeah, they're in charge. Do they make any uh, decisions on purchases? Um, no, but uh, <laughs> the little one has broken a few things particularly oh. wine he's fond of wine okay <laughs> yeah a couple of other comments uh helen says they always give great suggestions thank you that's important when you're walking in you don't know exactly what you want yeah someone does make a comment this also the friendliest folks in town and cats i love it Ah, uh, wonderful. Well, a couple of people, we, a lot of people saying hello. We strive for that for sure. That's yes. important that we are approachable and personable. And I love it. So um, I know with COVID-19 kind of taken over all of our world. Um, I may lo I may lose her again. Um, I was just thinking. I know that they have had to adjust how they have done things. I know that they put in a window for you to come up to the window to place your order because of COVID-19 restrictions. And so they were really great at accommodating everyone by putting in a window for people to be able to walk up and place their orders without having to go into the store. So you guys have been very inventive in that regard to help try to keep everybody safe. Um, yeah. And yeah. I think everybody just has been so grateful for y'all doing that, for sure. Well, it was our pleasure, and it was a big uh, learning experience for us. And, um, you know, I leaned on a lot of fellow citizens to help make that happen. Um, so um, we were glad to do it. Um, well, um, you're continuing to keep everybody safe, and everyone's so appreciative of that. So what other kind of new I, I i think with some of the COVID 19 restrictions there's some new things that kind of came on board that that you're able to do now that you weren't able to do in the past could you talk a little bit about that well um they did allow us to start making deliveries um we weren't allowed to do that before so people can call in 
um, and place an order over the phone and we can deliver it to them, uh, which is helpful for people that um, were quarantining or just didn't want to get out. Um, so um, that's been something we've been able to do. Uh, now we've just opened the store uh, back up to the public on the inside a little over a week ago. Um, so we have that option and we also have the window for people who don't want to come in or, you know, can't wear a mask. Um, and mm -hmm. then we're about to uh, go live with our website, which is going to be a gallery of all of our products, including seasonal things. Um, so people can see all the different kinds of wines, beers, liqueurs, scotches. Oh gosh, that's great. Um, and then they can place an order over the phone that way if they'd like, or, you know, and come pick it up or have it delivered. That's fantastic. Thank you. And I think you're, you're able to do gift certificates now. Is that right? Yes. Um, I don't know when that started. It used to be a big no, no, but um, mm -hmm. we do offer gift certificates in, in the liquor store as well. Awesome. Well, you guys have really uh, kind of, made everything work for everybody in a really difficult situation. So there are people here reaching out and saying, says Inger has put safety first in the community. She does not compromise. I, I don't. <laughs> no so negation. All right. We, we have a strict mask policy in the store right now. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're going to all get past this. Yes. We're going to survive it. Yep. Uh, Eureka has been resilient. Uh, people have stuck together to try to make sure everybody has stayed safe and you're a big part of that. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Someone's made a comment. I want to put up that uh, someone, something very special about our opinions. They carry some, fanta some fantastic small breweries and wineries that can fit all budgets. Good deal. We try, we try to accommodate so, everybody's budget. <laughs> <laughs> something for everyone. Love that. All right. So All right. what are you looking forward to? I know the holidays, you know, 2021. Um, will you be doing some promotions or anything coming up in the following in, in this year? Well, we always try to be prepared for any of the, you know, holidays and also the um, local events um, that are happening here throughout the year. I don't know what that looks like for us this year, but we're always mm -hmm. try, trying to be prepared for that. Um, we do, you know, specials all throughout the year. Wednesday is our wine day. It's 10% off a bottle of wine. Uh, we do case deals all throughout the week of wine or liquor. Um, that's mixed or all the same. Um, and we have okay. case deals on beer as well uh, every day of the year. So, okay. Uh, uh, and if someone's looking for something special, um, we do carry some allocated items, um, small craft wines as well that are hard to find, um, and uh, bourbons and the like, um, if we can get them. So okay. always happy to help someone find something they're looking for. Yeah. Or just want to try, you know, I've, I've had a few things that I've kind of, I've, I've read about. Um, I'm kind of hooked on this uh, YouTube series. You may have seen it. Uh, it's called the uh, tipsy bartender. I've heard of that. And he, he get you. I'm going to have to, you have to get you hooked on it too. <laughs> he has all these really neat recipes that are just really fun and festive. And uh, some of the concoctions he comes up with, I'm like, I want to try that. I'm going to yeah. come, come get some uh, of the mixers and stuff to, to do it. So yep. and a I'll lot have to of show the, you that link. A lot of the old school cocktails are making a comeback as well, which is kind of exciting. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is your favorite cocktail? Um, I'm honestly, yeah, I'm going to have to say I drink wine. That's your wine. Drinker. That's okay. yeah. So the wine in the store are my baby. That's what I was educated on. Um, that's what I know a lot about. That's what I get really excited about when people come in and ask for help. Um, I won't turn down a good cocktail, 
but um, I'm, you know, don't have anything real crazy cool yeah, okay. that, I'm, that I'm into. Like I probably could go, be quite happy with a, a top shelf um, Bloody Mary margarita okay. or just a cranberry vodka. But we've got a lot of recipes accessible so we can help people okay. find all the cool new stuff. So even talking about pairings with uh, what, what their meals are going to be for that evening, you are love to do that, I bet. I love doing that, yes. So what's your number one brand of beer that you sell? Um, I don't think there's a specific one, but craft beers are huge for us, and okay. in particular IPAs. Um, and okay. people are always looking for these newer, hoppier, crazier IPAs, uh, okay. mimosas, the sours, um, anything seasonal, new and exciting that's coming out. Um, that's what we find that we sell the most of and that people are looking for a lot. Ah, okay. Uh, Penny's watching and she says she needs to check you out again. It's been a few years. She said they had a great un -oat Chardonnay I loved, but then you couldn't get it anymore. Well, you know what she's talking several, about? I have several others. All right, yeah. Penny, you need to get yourself back over to to uh, Alpine. Yes, please. <laughs> get yourself out, Penny. All right, so uh, uh, the other fellow wine. Oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Well, thank you everybody for watching and yeah, for the thanks. comments. Thanks for watching and tuning in tonight. Well, Inger, I just want to say thank you so much for, uh, again, for all the positive energy and for all the smiles that you give to the community. Everybody loves your smile Aww. and your friendly, your, your staff is always so friendly with everyone. Thanks. And I just want to thank you for being uh, a positive impact on our community. Uh, you know, we all need a good drink every now and then after yeah. a long day of dealing with the public and the tourists. Yep. And so uh, in some ways, you've kind of helped save Eureka Springs. <laughs> uh, so thank you yeah, so much. Some people, that's true. <laughs> thank you, Melody. But I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. It was cool. It was good to see you and we'll see you again soon. And thank you for being part of this. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it so you much. Bet. And thank you, Eureka. I love you guys. It's been it's been fun. Let's keep going and have a keep good going. year. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Inger, so much. Thanks. Well, I mean, a great staff and a great store and really has been a positive part of Eureka Springs. They give back to the community in so many other ways as well. And again, some of the friendliest folks you'll see in town. Uh, and it is exciting to be able to introduce people to different wine to have with their meal and to get, you know, good recommendations on how to enjoy our lives, uh, especially at mealtime with a good glass of wine. So thank you to them. And thank you guys for tuning in tonight and watching us and supporting us. And we want to be a, give a big shout out to all of our sponsors who have helped make this programming possible this year. So thank you. And I'll show you at the end of this, uh, some of the folks that have been a part of that. And we want to say thank you again to you guys. If you'd like to be a part of Eureka Springs channel and like to talk about what you do or what your business does or your passion or just anything that's newsworthy, do get in touch with, in touch with us. I'm having trouble talking tonight uh, and we would love to feature you. Thank you again for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.